the flowers. <laughs> like, because you've got this base. If you if you spawn in the center left, right, you've got way more to worry about than right. a player who spawns in a corner. Mm -hmm. So this is something we're going to have to wait and see if both players actually spawn in these easier to hold bases in the top right and the bottom right, or if actually one of them is going to yeah. draw sh the short straw and get put in the in the red square there on the left. Yeah. The other thing is you've got two ramps in the passageway between your main and your natural. Consequently, your natural is actually on high ground. And so maybe that's easier to defend, but especially for Zerg rushes, you can attack from two directions. It's whatever Zerg wants to do. Um, so it makes it really rough to try to pull off like a fast expand or something like that on these maps. Let's just get into it and find out. I think I am in the game and you are in the game, Zero's in the game. We are ready to go with our winner's match to find out which player will be the first to advance out of Group C. All right, here we go. In the bottom, uh, well, I guess that's the left-hand side, at the nine o'clock location in the gray as Protoss. This is the Italian player pro. His opponent in the top right, spawning as the green Terran. We've got Goku, another newcomer to the league, winning a very impressive TVZ against Babo earlier on today. So we'll see if his TVP is also on point. So yeah, it feels like, sorry, go ahead. Oh, I was gonna make a stupid joke. You were actually gonna talk about the game. Uh, I, I was just gonna point out that somehow the magic of BS, BSL is that while I can be on the right side of Ziggy uh, in our super secret casting desk, as soon as we switch over, we swap chairs. So he and I both get up and then I run to Poland, he runs to uh, South Korea, and we swap each other's sides. That's just how... This is, this is like quantum quantum entanglement. Yeah, like we're, we're every, quantum every single, casting right now. Yeah, every, every single atom in my body is connected to this, every single <laughs> atom in your body. And then, we okay, just, well, you know, quantum entanglement. If we, if we check my state as a caster, then your state also gets specified. Yeah, we're no, we're not that close, guys. We're like, we're like this, not like, not like this. If you know what I mean. Um, so yeah, uh, BSL production value through the roof. Back to what you were actually going to say, Ziggy. Yeah, I just wanted to point out that it seems like Pro uh, got the short end of the stick here and actually got put in the nine o'clock position, which yeah. means he's going to have to worry about a slightly larger arc if Goku were to go for drops. Now, if the situation were reversed. I would be shaking in my boots as Goku because I don't want to go up against Reverse on a map like this. <laughs> Do you know how many yeah. how many turrets you actually have to go for on a map like this to oh, yeah. protect yourself against? It's like 10, 12 more. That's unfathomable amount of money you have to spend on static defense yeah. to be safe well, against Reverse on a map like this. So uh, there's a couple of things about the players. So for, for Pro, he's a little bit newer, but he's got obviously solid fundamentals. But just to put, if you don't know anything about Gosu Dark, this guy is a dirty Protoss cheeser. This guy just does every dirty cheese in the book and PvP. One of the biggest ones is DPs. The other one can be rushing Reavers and trying to use those to take out a uh, an expansion. But in PvP, it can be super risky to throw down an expansion, like just like it's on our, our previous one. So um, PvP though um, can be a little bit uh, scarier, especially if you can't get in there and see what your opponent's up to. So let's see how this changes the way this map is played, because I totally agree with you. Pro kind of got the through the short straw here. Yeah, so one thing that I'd like to point out here is that it feels like Goku was planning on going for a proxy starport. He sent out that first SCV to the bottom and actually kept it there for a little <laughs> longer. Yeah. Right? But he got scouted by the Zealot. And at the same time, he's still mining gas. So it feels like he's going for that proxy starport and it's he still might throw it down with the other SCV. He's actually placing himself in a convenient location to go for yep. that. Oh, but yeah, he needs to watch out because there's there's a zealot coming into his base. He's only got like three Marines. And if this zealot scouts that there is no natural being taken and that, that there's you gas still being mined. SCV. You gotta pull SCVs for this, right? Or maybe no, no, one fine. more. Okay. Uh, oh, well. Okay. 
I don't know if he should have lost that Marine. He actually almost lost two Marines, and that would have been not catastrophic, but at the same time, you don't really want to be building a, a ton of Marines right now. Um, but he also doesn't know how many more Zealots are on the way. Yeah, but we have to give him the benefit of the doubt. I mean, he's playing right. against a Peruvian player. So <laughs> that's, true, a, that's true, that's it, true. It's on like turn rate four or turn rate eight. All right, just having a Turkish. Well, right, we've yeah. got... Oh, we've actually got another factory. I thought it would be a Starport because I wasn't yeah. even looking at it. Yeah, no, I know. I was right on board with you. Uh, you had the right idea, but it is going to be another uh, factory coming up. So unbeknownst to uh, Seiya or Goku is his light be. Um, he's getting two facted with one of them being proxy. And this is uh, going to really throw him off at this point. Because he also went for an ex uh, expansion while he was you know, pushing with that Zealot. I was kind of expecting him to go for his Starport because Starport play has become a bit more prominent in recent times and paired with the fact that Pro is in that center left location that 9 p.m. A start would really be used to great lengths mm -hmm. right but instead we're going to have those vultures we're going to have those vultures with mines on top of that so the only thing that worries me here is that Goku only has a single tank and breaking up a ramp where there's like three or four dragoons waiting for you with a single tank you know, you... Oh, look at this. The Vulture gets in, but it's immediately taken out. So uh, I don't know if that's supposed to be like a surprise, but it feels like this is going terribly uh, for, for Goku. He's going to actually break up the ramp with the Marines. There's only one tank here. It's going to get dove on and taken out almost immediately. What? And is that pro splits, here, splits two Dragoons off to get to take care of that Vulture. And that, the single mine is actually going to connect. And another Vulture gets into the main base, so plants a couple of mines and possibly cuts himself a nice path towards the natural but yeah pro was on top of that wow it, it felt like everything felt misaligned like the vultures came in too late like the first vulture came in too early then the, the reinforcing vultures came in too late but i mean he's still planting mines so maybe he's actually going to be able to do a bit more economic damage here yeah a, a really good job targeted firing down these mines oh, uh, the, oh, oh no, the no, mines. no 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 yeah, the mines are actually doing a lot of work. You need detection. You cannot go out there. Oh, you didn't target the other mines getting dragged into the probes. That could have been horrendous. But as is, the uh, vultures are getting in here and doing a lot of damage. Yeah, at first, it, it seemed like everything oh, was no! Ah! Big mine drag into the natural or into the main mineral line. Kills off a ton of probes. It's down 19 to 1, but huge mine drags. And now the vultures are killing everything. What I thought was a perfect hold here for Goku is total tragedy. Yeah, everything is falling apart and it's actually painful to watch because as you're saying, everything looked perfect. Everything looked like pitch perfect. He had everything in place. First of oh, all, no! <laughs> well, that's to do it no. for, for game number that was one. That was painful to watch. <laughs> You know, usually you only get one of those mind yeah. drags in the middle of the line, but this is just the gift that kept on giving. Oh my God. <laughs> wow. So, our massive underdog, Goku, a, a newcomer to the league, is actually going to advance of his group, out of his group, in first place. That's just inc incredible. I'm a, I'm a hashtag big fan of this Goku kid. Definitely going Super Saiyan in his first time in BSL. He advances out of a uh, pretty unpredictable group, um, but I definitely would have, wouldn't have uh, predicted him taking such a, a slick win there. So two games and he is out of here into the round of 16. Yeah, I think a lot comes down. I mean, this is just conjecture, but I think a lot comes down to the fact that they were playing on turn rate eight and those mines are so much more difficult to defend against if you're playing on a you know laggy setting 